and welcome everyone! I'm trying to sneak in one last video before the new year and I thought what a better one than to do some inspiration for some New Year's Eve outfits. It's fun and New Year's Eve is literally right around the corner. There's birch in the background. But before we jump into these outfits today, I have five for you. I would love to give a shout out to our sponsor, Dossier. You all know that I love working with Dossier. I've worked with them in the past many times. I'm happy to again. I have some of my favorite perfumes from them. Lately, I've been really drawn to Golden Rum and Amber. As you can see, I made a pretty good dent in it from the last sponsorship video when I got this. And then I also love Oriental Floral 3, which is inspired by Terry Mugler's Alien. I love, 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 love. I used to work at Ulta and that was when I first smelled this perfume and it was like game over for me. I was obsessed. I was so happy to see that Dossier made a replica of that and they make a replica of so many designer scents. So if you are like getting into perfume or you just have a budget in general, check out Dossier. They might have a replica of one of your favorite perfumes. And with Dossier, you can get like five bottles of the Dossier perfume for the same price of one of the designer perfumes. They're long lasting, they're high quality, and they're sustainably made. And then my third favorite, which I'm showing you today, is Amber Cherry. This one is just like a very nice kind of sweet light scent and normally i'm not into sweet scents but something about this is very grounded and i really love this one so these are my top three favorites out of all of my dossier perfumes which i have quite a few and i've given them as gifts before as well and it's always a well-received gift like perfume is such a fun and personal thoughtful kind of a gift so i'm gonna have a link down in the description for you to check out dossier's website they always have specials going on and just great prices overall so be sure to check them out if you're looking for some perfume for yourself valentine's day is literally right around the corner i know that we just finished christmas but it's better to plan early than be caught late and not having anything and honestly perfume is a very romantic gift like you're smelling it on the person you want them to wear it it's it's just something's very sensual about it so be sure to check out the link down in the description be thinking about valentine's something maybe for yourself something maybe for your lover you never know either way thank you so much to dossier for sponsoring this video i always love working with them and we will get back to the video. So I've prepared five New Year's Eve inspired outfits. For New Year's Eve, I'm always thinking like metallic. I feel like most people are. That's kind of just the vibe. And I'm not sure why that is, but that is also kind of the inspiration for most of these outfits. Just like texture, metallic, shiny, sparkly, you know, the normal New Year's Eve thing. But I think it's really fun with New Year's Eve because you're coming into this new year, like you need to dress yourself accordingly. You know what they say? They say like something, something like dress for the job you want. That is just how you need to be for everything. Dress to be the person you want to be, not the person you feel like you are. And a New Year's is always a time for change. I know you can literally do it at any time. I'm not one for New Year's resolutions really because it's like, if I want to make a change, I'm just gonna do it whenever I want to do it. I don't want to or feel like I have to wait for a new year to do such a thing, but I do think that is a cool kind of symbolic time to just like reflect, think about what we want for the future. I do think that dressing is a powerful thing for your mind and just like putting it out what kind of vibe you're trying to give and get. You know what I'm saying? Without getting like too woo. -woo. Anyways, maybe think about it. Maybe think about what you're trying to bring into the new year. Maybe do it with like the materials you're wearing. If you're trying to be more like assertive and stand in your own truth more, pick kind of like badass looking textured fabrics like a leather or something with like spikes. Or if you're trying to connect more to like your soft side, pick more like feathers or like a velvet or some kind of like a silk if you're trying to be romantic you know like there's that side and you can also go with like colors if you're trying to be more bold this year you can wear like all red if you're trying to uh be more grounded you could do like 
green or brown. Nobody has to do this. It's just kind of like a fun thing to think about and kind of like a subliminal way to put yourself in the mindset for what you want this next year to be. Just the thought that I was having when I was preparing these outfits. So the first outfit, I love this little black velvet drop waist dress. I got this thrifting, it has like these kind of sequins all over it. For tights, I'm wearing my black fishnets with like some silver lorex woven into them. It would definitely be chilly if I was going outside, but I'm not going outside so I don't have to worry about that. You know, whatever you're doing, plan accordingly. <laughs> These shoes are from this brand called Raz and they're some silver little Mary Janes I think look super cute and cool. I layered on top of the dress this like pearl vest. I got it from Bay Beyond for a sponsorship a while back and I think it's a really cute piece. I like the extra texture. Again, bare arms besides the like velvet gloves that I'm wearing. Um, again, not gonna be outside. I'm gonna be in my house. So I'm not too worried about being cold. For my necklace, I'm wearing something from my friend's brand, Mind Flowers. They do like a lot of cool accessories as well as home decor. So check out their website because they have just an array of really cool, unique things for either yourself or your home. And then this hat I got off of the Vestier Collective, I believe it's called. Um, and it is a Christian Dior vintage beret. It's got like this little silk kind of pom-pom kind of a thing. It's not really a pom-pom, but that's the best way I can describe it. It's super cute. I love this hat so, so much. I'm just gonna wear it all the time. I was really, really sad for a while because I lost my first black vintage beret that I got. And it was one of my first vintage pieces that I ever had and it was from France and the inside was like green and red and white. I wore it to death. I have no idea what happened to it, but now I have this one, which is amazing and I'm obsessed with it. So, you know, things come back, things come back around always. I also have on this vintage little bag. I love it. It's white with like silver beading and it just ties in like the white pearl vest with then the silver shoes and all of that. Outfit number two, I don't know why this was giving me like Helena Bonham Carter from her character in The Dark Shadows because I looked up like stills from the movie and she wasn't wearing anything like this in the movie at all. But for some reason, I was just feeling like her in this outfit. I'm wearing this gold two-piece set from the Hippie Shake like a couple years ago. There's like these high-waisted pants and then there's this long sleeve tie top which I have just tied and then I have the ties tucked out of the uh, blazer that I'm wearing and the blazer you can't really tell on this camera but it has very slight metallic stripes that go through it. Um, it's from Guess, I thrifted that. For my necklace I'm wearing like a long cross necklace that I thrifted as well. Uh, my star necklace which I just never take off like ever since I got it so many years ago. It used to be gold, but now it's silver and I thrifted it. I get a lot of questions about it surprisingly. And then I just have like a bunch of brooches and different pins on there as well that I've thrifted. Um, there's this one with like a hand and it's got the world on a string, which I just love. The sunglasses are also from the Hippie Shake. They're from their last collection that they sent me some pieces from. It's like on tour 74 collection. Shoes, they were some thrifted like patent leather kind of Oxford looking high heels. And then I'm just wearing some black stockings underneath the pants too, um, instead of like some socks or something, you know. Okay, this look, these are all like such diva looks and I'm just, loving. They're very glamorous. Um, this, some of you might know this cat suit. I whip it out every once in a while, but this wonderful lady named Bianca made me this for Halloween, like, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago? Uh, it's such a cool piece. It reminds me of Jerry Hall. There's like this picture of her in Studio 54, I'm pretty sure, with like She's pulling up her super duper long hair. I've recreated the image like forever ago. My hair was not as long as hers was in that photo, but the cat suit is giving me the same vibes anyways. And this just screams New Year's Eve to me. I have it on with these super high platform patent leather 
sandals. Those I got online at this website called Novus. The silk bow is from Bay Beyond. I love it. It's so dramatic. It's huge. It, it speaks for itself. And New Year's Eve to me is also a little like cheeky. So this outfit is obviously a little cheeky as well, a little sheer, you know. And then on top, I have this hat, which it's a very strange hat because it's basically flat and then it just has two prongs that go in. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing it backwards, but I just wear it whatever way I feel like looks best with the outfit. I have no idea where I got it. I'm thinking that it was in this lot of hats that my mom and I got. We used to go to auctions once in a while and sometimes they'd have a bunch of vintage clothes. And one time we bought just a ton of vintage hats. So I'm pretty sure this is from that, but it's like a cool velvet kind of material. This is our second to last outfit and I'm wearing this beaded sheer shirt, which I love so much. I thrifted this and it's so gorgeous. I can't believe I thrifted it because I'm pretty sure it's an expensive piece just from the beading and the fact that it's 100% silk and it has a very nice zipper up the back. So all of these things are telling me that it's worth a lot of money. I adore this piece and this is like one of my favorite colors is like a dusty purple, kind of periwinkle color. I have it paired with my vintage disco pants. They're these black ones. I love the vintage because they have more of like a straight leg than the super tight like skinny leg that like the American Apparel reproductions have. I love both. Both totally have a place but I dig the kind of straight leg for the shoes that I'm wearing with this which are like these little silver kitten heels. They're from Naturalizer and normally I wouldn't be wearing this gray bandeau underneath but for monetization's sake I didn't want to have to be worried if like the beads were covering up the exact area where they needed to be, you know what I'm saying? For a cover-up, I'm wearing this button-up little black blouse that I got thrifted one time. It has these huge balloon sleeves, which I think are just so dramatic and fun, but I didn't want to wear it like a classic button-up. So what I had did was just tie the two ends in the back, and then what was left hanging down, I just kind of like tucked it into the tied part and then rolled it up a little bit and created like this little bolero kind of jacket look. And then I'm wearing a really long black skinny scarf, which is merged from this band Palais Royale. We played a, like a tiny little show with them one time. On the scarf is this beetle pin, which I thrifted and I think it's just so cool. Okay, last but not least is this lovely gem of a dress. It was made for me by Marcia Moonshop. And it's got these cool cutouts on the side, very 60s, very groovy. I'm wearing it with these black little stockings and then my vintage black boots that are suede and they have like silver and gold studs up the sides that go into like little swirlies. Love these boots so much. I have on this little black cover-up jacket that I actually got from Andrew's mom's store, so my mother-in-law's store. I wanted to layer up like a lot of gold jewelry on my wrists, so basically almost all of the gold bracelets that I had besides these little tiny bangles. I have my snake arm cuff as a bracelet as well. And then I decided to wear some gold necklaces too. I have on this vintage, really long, tassely one. And then a wire choker. Both I got thrifting, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm wearing my black furry hat, which is also vintage. I got it thrifting for $5. I love it. I can't believe it. I seriously love that piece so much. Um, and then the little bag that I have is not a bag at all, but it was a gift from my friend Mick uh, for my birthday. And it is this really cool flask that has like this chain on it so that you can carry it like a handbag and the outside is like a furry cheetah print kind of case it's so cool i love it i thought that it needed to be in one of the new year's eve outfits when i'm carrying that around i feel like the guy from grinch that has like his flask under his beard and then grinch steals it at one point and he's like that's my stuff or something like that. <laughs> so those are all the New Year's Eve outfits that I have for you today. I hope that you all have a wonderful, fabulous New Year's and bring in 2024 with lots of love and laughter and surrounded by people who love you. Thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the link down in the description to see what they've got going on on their site and check out all the fragrances that they have. I am sending you lots of love and I will see you in 2024.